That was interesting. All right. Well, I got I got spammed with 18 party invites. So uh, for people who didn't see the last video, and it wouldn't even let me connect to that person's party. So you know that's how it always goes. Still says I have four viewers. I don't really believe that, but if that's the case, then woohoo! People are still watching the stream. Like they 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 really believe me. They knew I was gonna continue to stream. Thanks, guys. All right, moving on to uh, Halo Reach throwback maps. I still don't know what the video is gonna be called. I'm gonna figure it out by the end of this. Uh, we're gonna be looking at a. Oh, the views went down. We're gonna be looking at a CAS assault carrier. Uh, for people who don't know what a CAS assault carrier is, that is a. Uh, that there is a Covenant ship. Um, Slayer. The uh, a Covenant the uh, Covenant assault carrier is like a super carrier. If you haven't seen it in Halo, the assault carrier is uh, just a smaller version of it, but with better shields, uh, better, you know. Don't really know how to explain it. It's been a while since I've actually looked up like the description for all these things and actually like looked at every little detail for the Covenant stuff. Um, now the one thing. Now here's what. Uh, now this is one of the things I will say. Halo Reach had the best the better forgers for building ships and why I, and I will say that as proudly as I can that Halo Reach had the better forgers for building ships and I say that due to the fact that literally people were able to do that right there people were able to do that no one seem no one can seem to do that on Halo 5 and it kind of ticks me off that it's like we have this really advanced forge but you can't figure out how to do something with all the little forge objects the fact that no one can do this kind of ticks me off, and I would really love to see one on Halo 5, especially with all the texture changes and whatever else that we can do. But no one has been able to do this, and it kind of makes me mad. And now on Halo Reach, I consider this to be my own ship. This was, uh, this was my own uh, cruiser. Uh, a friend of mine gave it to me, and on Halo Reach, uh, a lot of times, clans did not want... Uh, certain St. Keely clans, or people, did not want... Uh, people to have a hold of their uh, their ships because it was just kind of one of those moments where it's like it's my ship it's not yours it has its own name and that's perfectly fine and uh, it kind of makes me sad and a little bit annoyed that um, a lot of people uh, can't do this now these ships on Halo Reach a lot of them just have these big open areas they're not uh, they don't have a ton of hallways that is because we were limited but the exterior of the ship looks freaking amazing and things like this, where we can actually just go into an actual room, like the bridge, is freaking awesome. I love it. And I really do wish uh, somebody on Halo 5 would do this before Halo Infinite comes out. And if they don't do it, then I'll be very surprised. Is make, like, a, an actual Covenant ship that feels like a Covenant ship. This is probably the only map out here that feels like one... Uh, Oh no, this isn't the only map. There's like quite a few. There's also some Covenant Destroyers that a friend of mine made. Um, I haven't talked to him forever though. I don't really know if he can still consider me as a friend. We'll figure that out in the future. If I ever talk to him again. But here's my seat. I normally sit here. I sit here and command my people. And a lot of times when we're on when we're on these maps, this is a place for us. Because a lot of times there's when we don't want to play matchmaking. We just sit in a lobby and chill and just talk to each other. And that's kind of how some uh, social lobbies go. Is like if you just don't want to do anything else, you just want to sit in lobby, chill, you know, sword fight a little bit, you know, just a little sword, sword duel, or whatever else. That's what we did, and it was just one of those things that uh, I'm uh, that we did on Reach, and um, yeah, my brain just died. I don't know what the frick I was going with the rest of this, but here's the ship. I'll go outside and fly around and show you some more of it now if I actually have uh, if I actually have uh, the map I'm gonna show off the CCS uh, battle cruiser because that's another thing that people have built on this game and it's something that kinda again ticks me off that no one else has seemed to build and some people are like yeah people have built it well I'm sorry it looks ugly and looks so stupid we have an advanced forge system on Halo 5 and some people just can't seem to build like a decent ship and it really but bu it buggers me so much but um here's the exterior now because you know this is really blocky do only due to the fact that it is you know using a bunch of dishes a bunch of other objects how loud is the in-game audio 
it's not that loud, okay, I was looking, looking back at the video playback, um, in the future, I'm gonna, please, for my birthday, I'm hoping to God I get a capture card, but here we have the side wings, the back area, you can walk around on the outside if you want to, there is no kill boundaries, because, you know, we don't do that on our games, and our maps, and, uh, yeah, here, this is, uh, another ship. Now, with this uh, Halo Reach throwback thing, I'm going to be showing off two maps each video. I think that's the thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to do the one thing that I wish I could do in Halo 5 every single time I want to leave a game. Yep. Game over. Banshee suicide, because that's the most entertaining thing to do, because for some reason, we are not allowed to do that in Halo 5. We could do it in Halo 4, but why the frick can't we do it in Halo 5? It doesn't make any sense. Bad description. I don't... What? Okay, what is the description of this thing that tells you it's a bad description? Is there a curse word or something in it? Uh, no. So what's the problem? Going through here, we... I could probably find the ship Righteous Esses. Citadel. I'm trying to see if I have another, uh... As you can see, we have a few, uh... Saying in the community pe people here with names. Subomed Kulasi. 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 I can't speak. I have Imperial Star Destroyer. That's one thing that I remember people built on Reach. Oliver. Do I not have. You know, there was a period of time where I actually had a. Uh... You know, I'm going to show off this map because I saw this map uh, recently and this was apparently made in 2017. Although I've never seen it before. Um, I played on this the other night. Uh, I, I don't have the... Uh, actually, before I go in here, I actually have the... I actually have these on my file share. Again, with how on God's good earth do we not have people in Halo 5 that can build these? These are two fully built freaking uh, Covenant Destroyers from Halo Wars built on Reach. The one on the left actually has an interior. It's fully built. There's a bridge. There's a little jump out area. There's an armory. There's an engine room. The one on the right is just a shell. I don't understand how we can't do that on Halo 5. I can't do it myself because I was never good at building ships. But, you know, there's a bunch of talented forgers that you I would expect to be able to build something like this. And it really upsets me that no one can seem to do that. It's just really, uh... It's really saddening, and I'm looking at some other stuff. Reach, what is this? Reach, what? Welcome to Reach. But what's the skill thing people keep talking about? As you can see, a bunch of grenades are in the freaking screenshot. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. Halo Reach does have more skill, though, if you actually. If there's no grenades involved. I say more skill because, you know, we, don't have, we have to use bloom. We have to be aware of the bloom in a weapon. In Halo 5, there is no bloom. Slave. There is no skill there. It's really annoying. 343. Make, if you're bringing the DMR back, make sure this thing happens where the center reticule goes outside of the outer one. Where the shots aren't as accurate as, they're, as they normally are. So we have to do this. Anyways. Here's another map. Uh, it's called Flawed Legacy. Uh, I didn't really look at the map. I'm in an now, uh, holy crap, you can actually see the other area outside of the... Ooh. This is an interesting map. Uh, I thought it was really cool. This is the lobby. I was in a lobby last, uh, night, chilling with a bunch of Singular Community people and a few UNSC clan people. Uh, we were chilling in here, and just... I was watching two, uh, elite clans fight each other, along with a few Spartans fighting them. Now, this map is, uh, really cool looking. I thought it was really awesome. And it's one of the reasons, and it shows one of the reasons why I love Reach. We don't need any lights to put inside. All of these objects are the way they are just due to the fact that, you know, there was no shadows being casted on buildings. And if I turn the light bake off of certain objects in Halo 5, shadows will still be casted on certain objects and it's really stupid and I have to put a giant bright light in the building. You know, if you, if you turn light bake off, there shouldn't be any shadows whatsoever, but for some reason there's still some shadows, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Now, I do not have the modded game type, but, uh, in, in the modded game type, there's actually, like, a hologram halo ring, uh, here on this table. And I think I need to go get the game type to, uh, put the modded halo ring there, because, you know, that'd be useful. I have an old modded game type. This one is... 
I think this one that I currently have is the one that has mostly a bunch of AI, like, AI elites that you can place down. So, yeah. I'm moving on, we're going to look at the rest of the map. We have a nice big open room, nice detailed. Feel, it feels like one of those, uh, it feels like a machinima area. There's also supposed to, be a, supposed to be a beam right there that's emitting into that object, into that one. Again, I do not have the, uh game mode for the for this um whenever uh halo 4 and 5 came out after a while uh modders decided to get into the game and make these mods for us and one of the mods they put in the uh, falcon from campaign and the falcon from campaign or for those who know have a big giant turret on it and you can actually ride in it instead of having to get into the turret so in custom game it made it really useful for if somebody wanted to do machinimas but the the machinima people stopped you know, doing stuff on here, and they moved on, and it kind of made me mad, because I'm like, it's like, you know, Bungie, you could have put this Falcon in the custom game. You didn't have to put it in a matchmaking map, but you could have just put it in a custom game. Along with the other mods that put were put into the game was, uh, there was, well, it wasn't really, it was more modded in the custom games, and Forge was, uh, what was it? It was the anti-air shade turrets, the fuel rod shade turrets. It was, uh, the different shade turrets from um, campaign that they put in, and it was pretty cool. And I was like, you know, this is pretty freaking awesome. I love this. But again, with uh, Halo Five, we don't have a transport vehicle, sadly, because all the maps are really super small, and you know, nothing compares to Halo Reach's map sizes. Advanced movement speed, but we don't have a transport-like vehicle or like a Falcon. Then here we have a big giant open room, and I don't know what this was for. Uh, I came in here and I was like. You know, I don't really see a point to this. And this is the modded Colosseum walls. As you can see, all the walls are flashing. That's what happened on Halo Reach. Someone modded a map with, like, Colosseum walls all the way from the canyon to the big giant hangar known as the Colosseum. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, it's one of those things that was like, ooh, interesting. But, um... Yeah. These, uh, here's the other two maps, and I didn't say anything about this room, but I like this room. I like this giant open hallway, uh, with this one platform. Um, that's the other thing about Halo Rage, is that all these foreigner maps... You know what? I'm half tempted to build some of these on Halo 5, because on Halo, on Halo 5, we don't have very many foreigner maps, and it kind of upsets me. We don't have maps like these anymore within our Halo 5 community. I think I'm gonna remake some of these things, because... Uh, Halo, some of our Halo 5 community clan people need some of this. And for people who get tired of me talking about the clan community, I love the clan community. I've been a part of it since, uh, 20, uh, 2012. Um, it's been something that I've always loved. Uh, the clans on Reach were always really fun and cool to just be around. Uh, I always thought it was really cool to see, like, a clan of elites with a bunch of minors, majors, like, different ranks of the Covenant in the lobby and just kind of you know, they either do a raid, and a raid being, like, a clan defending a base while another clan attacks it. And it is in a free-for-all mode, so you do have to, like, watch, see whose name is who, you know, make sure you're not killing your clan mates, and you're just defending a base from, like, a group of people. And it was one of those things where it's like, there was a few moments where some raids looked like a machinima, and I, was, and I just said, you know what, if, you t if a machinima maker got a hold of this, they could make a machinima out of this, like, really easily. But, um, you know, that's just sometimes not really the case. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, uh, for people, again, as I said, I will be sharing some Halo 5 maps this week, uh, or today. Um, I shared all three videos yesterday. Two Jump Force betas and a, uh, video of the Destiny 2 draw boss fight. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go check that out on my channel. But anyways, peace. I'm waiting, I'm just letting there be enough time so y'all can click some stuff on the screen. There should be a thing at the top left, you know, for a subscribe thing and, you know, some other buttons for... This is for the YouTube people. For the people on Twitch, you're not seeing it right now. But if you haven't seen my YouTube channel, go down, scroll down on the channel thing, you know. Just, just scroll down. Just scroll down. You can go find uh, my YouTube channel. You know, I got some cool maps on there and a few other gameplay videos. Y'all probably will enjoy it, you know, maybe.
just you know you maybe you know sometimes you you never know you just have to kind of watch it all the way through there's some funny moments and then there's some weird moments and you know come on just check it out that's 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 all i'm asking all right bye guys